Sorry about the lighting, it's like kind of dark over here and like not over here. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Valerie and today I'm super excited about this video because I haven't done a get ready with me or like makeup tutorial, everyday makeup tutorial thing for like two, almost three months I think. So I'm very excited because my makeup routine has changed a little bit and I... I'm ready to show you what I do and also talk with you. Well, yeah, let's just get right into the video. Um, the first thing I do is use the Mario Badescu, um Rose Water Spray. I'm sure you've seen this, sure you've heard of it, you probably even own it. Don't even need to get into this. And I'm not gonna lie, I put like three things on my face before I actually get into my makeup. I don't know if that's bad. I don't know if that like makes your face too thick. I don't know, but I put this on and then moisturizer and a primer on before I even actually do my makeup. So I don't know if that's bad if you're like a makeup guru and you're cringing right now. I'm so sorry. But um, next I put on this Aveeno Daily Moisturizer uh, because my skin is dry as hell. If you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm sure you already knew that because I mention it all the time. But yes, your girl has the Sahara Desert on her face. And now that I look like a tomato because my skin is so sensitive, um, I'm going to put on my primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I like this because it is very hydrating. Um, and like I said, dry skin. So what can we talk about? Um, my life has been not that eventful lately since the last time I sat down and talked about it. Um, I've been applying to a bunch of different jobs because I'm over my current job and I just hate it so much. Um, so I've been applying to, I applied to Target, I applied to a bunch of clothing places, I'm going to apply to Petco. Um, oh, and speaking of which, jobs. My friend, right, he went to California this week with his mom and she, they went to a cat cafe. If you don't know what that is, it's like, a little cafe where there's literally cats all around and you can just play with cats so basically like the best time of your life ever um he went with his mom and she was like she wants to start like she's like a stay-at-home mom right now and she wants to start like getting into doing work again and she was like i think i want to start my own cat cafe and she was like i want valerie and abby my friend who i live with to work for me Imagine, just imagine I literally work at a cat cafe. Like I could bring my cat into work with me sometimes and he can like hang out with the other cats. Oh my gosh, like, oh, it's gonna be a while. And my friend, like, whose mom this is, he was like, this is like very serious. Like she's seriously considering it. And like, she's gonna start talking to banks and starting to figure it out and like find the location and all that stuff. I was like, oh my God, like, and within the next year, I could be literally working at a cat cafe. Like, what a dream. What a dream. Um, my foundation. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I stopped using this for the longest time because I found these two foundations that I like really well mixed together. But then I couldn't find one of them and I picked up this and I forgot how good this was. So, that's what I'm using. And I'm using the e.l.f. foundation brush to put this on. I don't know why, but I haven't really been using a beauty blender lately. I just, I don't know, I feel like it just soaks up all the foundation. And before I get super into this little everyday makeup routine thing, I just want you all to know, disclaimer, as I do in every makeup video, I am not a makeup artist. I am doing what I like to do because it is what works for me. So, please don't go commenting, oh, you did this wrong, oh, you did this wrong. Um. I mean, unless it's something like I'm applying something wrong. Like one time I put my bronzer way too low and someone was like, girl, like you put your bronzer too low. It's supposed to be right there. Um, like just letting you know. And I was like, yo, thank you. Like now I do my bronzer correctly, I think. So that's different. But if you're going to go hating on like, oh my God, she did this and she did this. That's so cringy. Like just get out <laughs> because I am not a beauty guru. I mean, Kind of a beauty guru, but a beauty guru who really doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, that's me. So next, I honestly don't do this every time, but 
since I am quite tired today, I am going to conceal my under eyes and bake them, probably. Um, and I'm just using the e.l.f. under eye conceal and highlighter. I have never used the highlighter side. I don't like it. It's like way too wet and weird. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't do my forehead, normally you do like under your eye, your nose, your chin, and your forehead right here. I don't do that because that is like the driest point on my head or on my face. <laughs> That's like the driest part. And when I put concealer over that and bake over that, it's just, it is not cute. So I don't put concealer right there. Um, I should probably get my beauty blender wet, huh? I'm too lazy to get up and go to my bathroom to get this wet. So I'm literally just gonna, my bathroom's literally right there, like right there. I love wasting my products. <laughs> it's fine. Plus I kind of like the effect that beauty blenders have when they're like barely damp. Like a little dry, a little damp. Okay, I think that's good. Everything looks the same on camera. I see a difference in person though, so it's fine. Oh yeah, I'm going to bake now using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I don't put a lot when you buy the knockoff Coke because you're cheap. It's still good though. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have, oh my gosh, I do. That's not a treat, wow. Okay, ow, get out. I really don't know if that was an eyelash in my eye or like my brush is shedding, but there is something in my eye. I'm crying out of one eye, it's fine. Um. Anyway, next I take my Rimmel uh, Stay Matte powder and the, I love this powder, right? But the only thing, I hate this packaging. Every single one of these that I've had or that a friend has had, the logo like wears off after like literally two weeks and the, the top of it, like the cap just breaks into pieces. They really need to fix their packaging. I just have broken pieces of plastic in my makeup bag. It's honestly fine. This is in the shade Creamy Natural and I just put this everywhere that I didn't bake. So then I take this really old brush that I've had since I was a what? Literally 10 years old, like no joke, I got this in like a makeup set with a bunch of brushes. I have no idea where those brushes went. They probably weren't good anyway, but <laughs> I got this from my uncle when I was like 10 and it's completely broken, but I use this side to brush out my eyebrows because they are so thick and using um, these things, what are they called, spoolies? These things to brush out, my eyebrows do not work. So I have to use this. Um, I brush them out before I do them. Funny story, okay? If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while or you just watch some of my old videos, um, I used to have the blondest eyebrows because I'm naturally blonde. This isn't my natural hair color. This is like a weird strawberry color that I really don't like, but I'm, I'm on my way to platinum. Okay, I'll be there soon, hopefully, but I have like super blonde eyebrows. Or so I, I used to. I used to have super blonde eyebrows and like that is one of the reasons I was so insecure without makeup on when I had brown hair because my hair was so dark and my eyebrows were like invisible but now after like filling them in almost every day dark brown like they're like stained brown they're so much darker than they used to be but I'm honestly not complaining but then I take my Ulta brow pomade in the shade dark brown and this really old Sephora brush and I outline them and fill them in a little bit with this and then I go over it with eyeshadow. Um, I know my eyebrows aren't the greatest, okay? Don't come at me, I know. I don't like getting them done. I've literally only gotten them done once and I was like 12 and I will never do it again. <laughs> it hurts so bad, my face is so sensitive, I cannot do it. About this pomade, this stuff is, like I said, from Ulta and it's literally $10 and I personally like it better than the Anastasia dip brow pomade I have that as well and I haven't used it in so long but when I was using it like when I first got it it was still like nice and wet and like new and after like two weeks it dried out and I like it's not that I left it open or didn't close it all the way like that stuff dried out so quick and my friend has it too and she's like yeah mine dried out really quick too she had to put like rubbing alcohol or something in it to make it wet again and that stuff's so expensive and this stuff has not dried out and I've had it for like over a month and it's only 10 bucks so I recommend this 
if you're bowling on the budget like me. Okay, so now that I am finished outlining them, it's not the greatest. I already know. I don't really know what I'm doing, as I already said. But I take this palette, actually the Tartlet in Bloom palette, and I very lightly take the shade Activist. This one right here, it's very dark. Um, and because it is so dark, I, like I said, I do it really lightly. Um, and I go very gently over my eyebrows, because if you do it too much, it is very, very dark, like they look black, so. But this is like the only brown eyeshadow that I have. There is this one, but it has like red tones in it, and I don't want red eyebrows, so. Okay, so now that my mediocre eyebrows are finished, what do I do next? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to do bronzer. Okay, um, rewind. I use, I still use this. This is the MAC Nude On Board Bronzer. Um, so this, y'all are gonna get mad. Okay, just hold it in for a second. I take this brush, which I use for my powder, yes, and I use this. Um, now listen. <laughs> I know this is a foundation powder brush thing, and it's not meant for bronzer, um, but I like the way that this applies it because I like my bronzer to be very subtle. Like, you can hardly tell it's there. That's how I like it. I don't know why, but I, it's very easy for me to go overboard with bronzer, so I feel like putting a little tiny bit on this and just brushing it on my face makes it look more natural. And half of the time, you honestly can't really tell a difference, but I don't know, this is just what I do, okay? So yeah, I can see a difference in person, like I just look a little bit tanner-ish, kind of, on my face. And then I literally just like wipe off the rest of it <laughs> and just like go over it. Just to like buff it out and make sure nothing is too harsh. So next I take this very, very old eyelash curler from Sally Hansen that is literally broken with a little rubber piece in it, falls out all the time but I'm cheap and it still works. It's broken, but it still does the job. So I'm gonna keep it until it literally physically will not work anymore. And then lately I have been going back and forth between two different mascaras. I have been, I finally got this mascara, oh my gosh. The Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It's like a knockoff of the Better Than Sex mascara. And I have that mascara and I love it, but it dries out so fast. So fast. And so does the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and that is my favorite mascara of all time. But it's so expensive. It's like almost $30, and it dries out... Oh wait, it's either $22 or $28. I don't know. It's too expensive for a mascara. And it dries out so fast. So, um, I got this, because I really wanted to try it, and I really do like this. It is pretty similar to the Better, Better Than Sex. The brush is like literally the same. Um, and it applies almost the same as well. So I've been using that, and I've also been using the Maybelline Last... Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara, and I think I'm gonna use this one today. I really like the way this one applies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I forgot that I'm also supposed to be talking. Oh, what else has been going on in my life? I don't know. My life is so boring. <laughs> um, oh, I decided I I know what I'm going to school for. Um. I am planning on starting school soon for, if you don't know, I am obsessed with the ocean. The ocean is, I, I want to be a mermaid and live in the ocean, like it, for real, that would be a dream come true. But I have decided, I have always wanted to be a marine biologist since I was little, and I decided that I am going to school for marine biology and biological oceanography, which are almost the same thing, kind of. They're in the same subject. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm super nervous, but I'm glad I finally figured out what it is that I really want to do and what I really want to spend money on and put a lot of my time into. The ocean, duh. My eyelashes just don't want to cooperate with me today. I feel like they're not on my face. Can you even see them? I don't know. And it's not this mascara because I use this one like every other day. Cause like I said, I switch off, but today my eyelashes just don't want to show. Like, do you see that? I don't know, this one looks better than that one, but I don't know what's going on. So the next thing I do, um, I literally rarely do this. I don't know why, but I had a, a face where I was super obsessed with highlighting and now I literally do it like once a month. I don't know why. 
but for the sake of this video I will do it for you guys um so when I do highlight I either use my Anastasia sun gleam I think is what it's called palette or I use this Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Peach Goddess. It's super pretty. So half the time I've been sitting here jamming the music and I totally forgot that I haven't filmed a my favorite, my current favorite songs video in a while. And I know you guys like those. So if you guys are interested in me doing another my favorite, why do I keep saying it that way? My current favorite songs video where I literally just dance around and show you what my current favorite songs are, then go ahead and let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up, I don't know. Let me know somehow that you want to see that. Because I don't want to do it if you guys don't really care for it because that video takes so much editing because I have to like download every song on the computer and match it up with my lip syncing to the song. It's a process. It takes like several hours to edit that video, so... Let me know if you want to see that. I do love highlighting my cupid's bow. I can't even tell you how much I love that. I think it's so cute. I totally forgot to include this, but I, whoa. My last step is I put on the Burt's Bees uh, lip shine in the shade Whisper. Yeah, I put this on as my last step, actually, before. I do my setting spray normally, but I forgot, so yeah. I put on this little lip shine lip gloss thing. Yeah, I forgot to put that in there. Continue. Well, last but not least, I take my Wet n Wild Photo Focused, Focused, Focus Setting Spray, and I spray this all over my face. This stuff is, sprays a lot, so I have to go really far. That felt so good. So that is all for my updated everyday makeup routine. Like I said, I don't do highlight every day though, but everything else I do every day, and sometimes I'll add some eyeliner. Um, for fun, and when I do, I use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, so yeah. If I've ever worn eyeliner and you were wondering what I use, this is it. You probably weren't wondering, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know if you guys want to see an updated My Current Favorite Songs video. I would be so down to do that, but yeah, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was boring. I kept forgetting to talk, but I love you guys, and I hope you have a good day or night or morning, evening, whatever. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.